Tanula, do you have any pets? I have a cat who I love so dearly, and her name is Whiskey. <laughs> and would you love her so much that you'd shell out to get her cloned? Uh, that would be a danger to me and everyone around me because she is evil and carnage. So oh, wow. probably not, so but I can understand why other people. You don't want her to multiply. Next, se next sequence of horror movies. <laughs> but this is this is something that's real. Pet cloning is a real thing. Yeah, Gina. people have more money than sense. They sure do. No, a fool and his money are soon parted. So you have a dog or a cat or something. It's coming near its final demise, and you decide I can't be without Muggins any longer, and you get a cell from it and you get it grown in another surrogate animal and in due course another cat the very same DNA as your cat is born. It was what happened to Dolly the sheep and she was called Dolly because they took the cell out of her mammary gland and that was why she was called yeah. Dolly. But um, the thing is that you're born the age you started out with. So Dolly the sheep was six years old when she was born because the cell was taken from yeah. her mother and it was a six-year-old cell. So if your little pussy is 12 years of age before you get it cloned, you're going to end up with a maybe a kitten, but it'll have all the old cells, all the old things. It'll have arthritis before it can mew. I mean, it's, it's not going to work in a sense, but, you know, fools and his money are soon parted. And if you can close, clone pets... What's to stop you cloning humans? You could clone your husband. Something like 25 grand. One husband's enough. I tell you what, you could clone yourself. I get someone to help you around the house. I'd love it. <laughs> I'd actually love that. I'd love a wife. Um, but Barbara Streisand did it. So, like, it's... Who did it? Barbara Streisand. Hey, yeah, so we're all supposed to do it because she did it. If everybody else walked over it, Liv, would you walk over it, Liv? <laughs> no, I wouldn't put my hand into the fire. <laughs> there, you're right. I'm not an Irish, not an Irish rabbi for nothing. Yeah, you, you asked the questions, eh? I did. Yeah, you did. You opened the door. You opened the door.